Hello Internet, welcome to this tutorial series where we will build full stack burn application step by step. We will be following a typical project life cycle from requirement to coding to testing and finally deployment. We will build backend, frontend and API in between. Along the way, we will learn several technologies. Starting with MongoDB for the database, we will be using Atlas Cloud version. We will be doing data modeling, CRUD operations. Next, we will learn Express, a very popular lightweight web framework for Node. And Node, uh, which is an open source cross-platform runtime environment that allows server-side application using JavaScript. React, a very popular JavaScript library for UI development. From API perspective, we will use GraphQL, specifically the GraphQL implementation by Apollo, which has both client and servers. We will implement custom authentication. We'll use JW token and Bcrypt. The application will also include image upload and processing. For this, we will use Cloudinary services, a third party application. And to do all this, we will use a VS Code editor, though it is not mandatory, any other IDE or uh, text editor can be used, but because this VS Code makes the development and integration much smoother across the different technologies, for this project development, we will be using uh, the VS Code editor. Hi, my name is Pavan Kulkarni, and before we get into the thick of things, let me briefly explain why I am making this tutorial series. The two main reasons are, first, there is a wealth of information and open source code available on the net, free of charge to the users. I personally have learned a lot from such sources and the open source code, uh, which I use for my projects. This is my humble way to pay it forward by creating the quality content of tutorials and best of my abilities. And the second reason is a little bit more selfish, I would say. Uh, that is, a best way to internalize any subject is to teach it to someone else. So I thought, why not this YouTube medium? Let's move ahead with the first stage of the project requirements. Our client has provided this list of high level requirements. This document will drive all design and development. Let's review and understand the objective and requirements. The first is the mission statement. So our client wants to create a platform for book enthusiasts and avid readers alike to form a community and enjoy the world of book reading by sharing. Club members share books and feedback about the books they read. Platform should also attract guests to become part of this vibrant community. Okay, so basically our client wants to create a book club and the members share books and they share the feedback and they want to attract new guests. So the community remains vibrant and it expands. Along with the mission statement, these are the list of key features our client want to implement in our platform. First is guests and members should be able to browse through all books available on the platform. While browsing, guests and members should be presented with key attributes of each book. Guests or members can request for details of any book of interest to see more details. 
book details should list key attributes and summary of the book and also member feedback of the book. Book details also link to other books by the same author. Guests should be allowed to just browse. To avail full benefits, guests should register to become member. Okay, so once guests become member, they can borrow book from other members. Member can offer books to be borrowed by other members. So that's how they share in the club. Member can add book critic and rate the book. Member should be allowed to add a copy of already existing book. Member should be able to add brand new book to the club. Only member should be able to see which other member own the book and if that copy is available for borrowing. Member feedback should include numerical rating of the book. After reviewing requirement, next stage is design. Specifically, I will start with front-end design in the form of wireframe. Typically, wireframes start off as handwritten rough sketch on piece of paper. For this project though, I use Figma tool which generates high fidelity prototype. I will leave a link to Figma below in the description. As this tutorial is focused on MERN stack, I'm not including how Figma is used to create this prototype. Let me know in comments if you want to see a video on how this prototype is created using Figma. Now let's see what this prototype is all about. So as you can see, uh, this is the landing page of the app platform. So right off the bat, you can see this is better than the wireframe we can write on a piece of paper. It is much closer to the final application. So this landing page is as per the requirement. So first requirement was for the guests and members to browse through the books in this club. So this is where the uh, list of books are listed. These book cards also provides the key attributes about the book such as the title, the cover page, the author, the genre, the user rating. Next, it has the navigation, uh, the header bar and navigation. So it is a pretty simple navigation and we have the home and because there is a member who has to log in and the guest user, we have this login or sign off button. So when I said the high fidelity prototype, it's not just the look and feel, but more importantly, it provides a user journey, which will be very difficult in pieces of paper kind of wireframe. So what I mean by user type is, user journey is if I click anywhere, so there are two elements, the login and this book highlighted. So there are two entry points where the user journey can continue. So let's click on this book card and see the next stage. So when I click, this is the second page, the book details, which is displayed. It shows the animation, how this should work. This is also as per the requirement. So here, along with the key attribute, we also see the description of the book. Also, we see the members with their avatar image and name and their description of how the book is all about or what the book is all about. And there is something interesting here. It's saying that not authorized. Login to view this section. Obviously, as per the requirement, users, only the members should be able to borrow and offer the books. On, on the other hand, guest users will be able to only browse. So let's see what other uh, activities a guest user can do. So here on this detail page, we can also see a list of books. 
written by the same author so this that section at the bottom displays all those books now switch it switching the role to the member let's log in and see how that user journey looks like so if i click on login this is the form displayed where uh, you can log in with email and password so i have not created i'm not registered yet so how do i do that we can do again there are two entry points here there are either login or here to create a new account so let's go and create a new account so this is another simple uh, registration all i'm asking for is an email a password to confirm the password is correct or not so once that is done if i sign up the registration is complete post registration the login page is displayed where a member can log in with the email and password so once i click on the login i again come back to the landing page so notice here on the header we are seeing the profile nav bar instead of login or sign up now before the profile page let's again go back to the details page and see what that authorized or authenticated section is all about so if i click on that book icon i get to the book details the first section is same as for the user the middle section is where i can borrow a book so this section provides a list of members who are offering this book to be borrowed so in this instance there are two members with this book john and jim so the copy from jim is already borrowed by someone else so that's why it is not available but that book is available to be borrowed from john so i can click on this borrow button and i can borrow this book if i'm interested in it now let's go to the profile page and see how the profile page looks so in this profile page we have the basic account information such as name and email and i have an option to upload a new image as an avatar the next section is all the books i am currently owning meaning i am offering in this club and the last section on the screen is the list of books i have borrowed so these are the list of books and i can click on this buttons to return this book back now how do i add or contribute another book to this club that's where we can click on this add button this add button gives another form where we can fill in the details of the book and click add repo to add the book to the club prototype walk through is done i like to see how you translate these high level requirements into front end design do let me know in comments below now it's time for videos closing comments there will be associated github repo for each topic refer the github link in the description for documents codes and any other relevant information referred we will start coding in next video to code along i recommend to install vs code and latest node js version installation of these two are straightforward i will provide links to follow for installation in description below all other packages needed to build the project will be installed in the tutorial see you in the next video